Skills are like a language. The more we speak each other's skills, the more we'll be empathetic to each other and the more we'll break down the silos in the business. I think we've gotten to a point where the biggest constraint in any organization is the skill sets. There's a death of skills. And hitherto now, we've had a situation where companies were siloed based on the single skills of people. So skills could be dominant, which is your mild, deep, and inch-wide skills, or they could be recessive, which could be your inch, deep, and mile wild skills. Sort of have an idea about it, but not in depth. So what did we have before? Someone comes into the company with a deep skill of accounting, and that's what he does till he retires from the company. This is no longer sustainable. And that's why I speak about the five stages model for multi-competences. And the stages are I, which is the singular skill dominant that a person has. But a person can also have a dominant skill and a recessive skill on top of that. So he's a T person. And some people are quite ambitious and they'll have two dominant skills and then they will have a recessive skill across it. That's an H person. And then you have, very rarely, those that have what we call a square stage of multi-skills. They have four skills, all in equilibrium. And the rarest, probably you think about Elon Musk, are the people who are circle people. Circle is all-rounder. He has skills in almost everything he decides to, to go into in depth. And the whole thing is that if we want to break the silos, then we have to learn more than that one skill. So the engineer who is the most trusted by the customer goes to the customer side, should also learn a little bit about sales so that he can open doors for the company. And so also with the salesman, it's not enough to just say, I'm going to sell. It's also good to know the workings of the product, the engineering of it, and a bit of finance so that you can see how your proposal impacts the bottom line. Typically, entrepreneurs, by the, the nature of starting a business, tend to be square or circle because when they start, they are the ones that is doing everything. And that becomes a very big advantage to the company as the company develops. But the people coming behind also have to ensure that we break from the silo mentality of just one skill is enough for my whole career. Skills are like a language. The more we speak each other's skills, the more we'll be empathetic to each other, and the more we'll break down the silos in the business. <laughs>